Principal Park is due for a facelift overdue, some say. What's happening and how much will it cost? And Thanksgiving is right around the corner. How do we celebrate safely during the pandemic? But first, a two-year-old recovering after being shot in a drive-by this weekend. An update on the investigation so far. You're watching Local 5 News. Good evening, I'm Stephanie Engelson. A two-year-old is recovering after being shot during an apparent drive-by shooting yesterday. The child shot in the leg had non-life-threatening injuries, according to police. Uh, the shooting happened here on Southeast McKinley around 8.30 last night, just east of the Des Moines Airport. Local 5 went to the two-year-old boy's house, but no one was there to talk. An occurrence police say happens frequently in many Des Moines shootings. You know, it's like every other neighborhood, you know, there, there are good folks that live there. Um, unfortunately, in this case, there, there's something going on that brought this type of violence to that house. Um, what can you We also spoke to a neighbor who lives close by and she said what happened last night has really shaken up her and her kids. We was inside, I was making a bottle, and I just heard big boom. I thought somebody was pounding on my door. I'm like, who would be at my house at this hour? But then it got louder, and I'm like, okay, there's nobody outside. Like, this is shooting. And we will keep you updated on the boy's condition as we learn more. An iconic Des Moines attraction is getting a bit of a makeover. Local 5's Carson J.S. Reichart tells us the big changes Principal Park will be seeing in the near future. The new standards come from an agreement the Iowa Cubs signed with the Chicago Cubs back in January. In order to remain an affiliate of the team, Principal Park needs to hit certain standards. Most of that has to do with accommodating more staff members. Sam Burnaby joined the team in 1983 as president and general manager of the Iowa Cubs. Back then, he only had three staff members. Now I have a manager, I have a pitching coach, I have an assistant pitching coach, I have a hitting coach, I have another hitting coach. I've got two trainers, I've got two weight guys, I've got a nutritionist, I've got uh, all kinds of personnel. And now, the third oldest AAA baseball stadium in the nation is getting some improvements. Des Moines Parks and Recreation presented their plan to City Council at a work session this morning. Many of the changes are relatively simple. A new entrance gate, more parking, and updates to the Players Clubhouse. But there are some more dramatic additions, such as a playground and a giant screen TV outside the main park. Beyond just the building and the stadium and the parking that serves the Cubs, we're looking at it as a destination for all. And no matter if there's a game going on or not, this is a place to be. With so many changes coming down the pipeline, it might seem easy to oversell. But Richmond and Burnaby are both confident that fans really will notice the difference. It's a very special location, both for current times and from historic standpoint, too. So uh, involving all of the surrounding areas is a big priority for us. Uh, this will be as big as, as when we first built the stadium in 1991 for opening day 92. It's, uh, uh, there, it's, it's not just giving the, giving the building a hug. It's, it's a major change in, in a lot of respects. Something to keep in mind here. Today's meeting was just about getting the ball rolling on the updates that will keep Principal Park MLB compliant. You're probably wondering when you'll see all of these changes in action. If funding is secured, construction on phase one is set to begin during the off season next year. Should wrap up by April 2023. Well, your Iowa's most accurate weather forecast, Brad, is joining us now. Today felt really like November, but tomorrow, different story. Yes, it is going to be a very warm day tomorrow, and uh, the wind has a lot to do with that. The wind out of the south tomorrow is going to be warming us up. Now, the windiest time of the year is springtime, no doubt about that. The least windy time is the summer, especially late summer, but we're looking at uh, this November. Of course, November averages pretty windy. I mean, it's a pretty windy month out there and we're going to prove that the next couple of days. We've had some pretty strong winds over the last couple of uh, weeks for sure. Well, tomorrow we could see winds gusting uh, probably 20 to almost 30 miles per hour in the afternoon tomorrow, but it's a southerly wind, so that's going to help warm us up. Right now we got temperatures in the mid 30s out there. A few high clouds coming through. Nothing too extreme going on right now. We are going to see those highs tomorrow reach the 60s uh, central and western Iowa, especially a little cooler the further east you go tomorrow, but everybody cools down on Wednesday. Cold front comes through highs back in the 40s on Wednesday. Now beyond that, we are going to be pretty normal. We've got a decent day on Saturday. I think the afternoon looks nice, but then it gets even colder next week. Cold enough for even some snow. We'll talk about the chances coming up.